Monkey version 3.4 contains many new features. I'm going to take you through some of the highlights. Copy and paste allows you to duplicate clips and very quickly build up a complicated show. So I'm going to show that to you with two clips here. The first clip I've got is a text clip. And I want to create another clip with the sa um, same settings but with different text. So if I right click on here and go copy, paste, and then edit the clip. I can change the text to introduction. I'm just going to put a f an effect on that. And now I can play this clip and play this clip and it fades to the second text. But where copy and paste really comes into its own is with complicated cli space clips. So if I open this up, you'll see I've got a space clip here with some text, an image, and some video. If I play this back now, you'll see. Now if I want to create an, uh, the same clip again, but with different text, um, without copy and paste, I find this really difficult. But with copy and paste, I'm going to show you how it's very simple. So I'm going to right click on here and go copy and then go paste and then I'm going to edit the second one and I'm going to change the text in the second one to introduction and just need to set up the layers so I'm going to play the song on layer 1 on layer 2 I'm going to put the banner and on layer 3 I'm going to put the video right so now I'll play the second clip and we've got the same clip but with different text. The scheduler is useful for applications such as TV stations and in previous versions you've been able to set a time at which any clip will play. But this was restricted to only playing at a single time. You can only specify one time that a clip would play. In version 3.4 we've added the ability to specify more than one time for each clip. So if I right click on a clip and go schedule, you'll notice now that we c can add a series of different times at which the clip will play. So I want this clip to play at 2 o'clock. Um, and so I just set the time to 2 o'clock and go OK. And then I also want to it to play at um, 4 o'clock. So if we set the time to 4 o'clock as well. Now we schedule that clip to play at 2 o'clock today and 4 o'clock today. One of the things that's important when setting up the display profile for the new generation of LED screens is the ability to set the display profile in pixels. So if I go into edit a display profile um, and select a layer, um, we can you can see the height here um, specified in 32%, that's 32% of the overall height. I can also set this in pixels. So if I type in 10px, that'll set it in pixels. So if I set the um, height to 10 pixels and the width to 50 pixels. Um, so we have a um, layer of 10 pixels by 50 pixels. Well, not quite, because the zoom is actually set to 50%, which means that each pixel height is about half a pixel. So even though we specified a height of 10 pixels, the actual screen resolution is 5 pixels. The easiest way to get around this problem is when setting dimensions in pixels is just to set a zoom to 100%. That way each pixel is a pixel. Um, so our height is now 10 pixels and our width is 50 pixels. The statistics plugin is a way of monitoring what clips are played when. It's particularly useful uh, for applications such as a TV studio where you want to record um, advertising material and how long it was played for so that you can report this back to your customers. So I'm just going to show you how to enable the statistics plugin. If we right click on an empty clip cell and go settings, select statistics module and go enable. And we can now choose a location to save the statistics. Um, information. So I'm just going to type in a um, file name here and go save. Now from this point onwards all playback of any clips will be recorded in this file. 
So I'm just going to play um, some clips. So we've got some information to look at. And then we're going to clear the screen. Right, if I open that file up now, um, it'll open an Excel spreadsheet with the information in. And here you can see the time and date that the clip was played, um, the type of clip, uh, sorry, the name of the clip, and um, what's happening. Probably one of the biggest improvements in this version is the addition of multi-layered spaces. You'll have seen a hint of this um, previously in this introduction. In uh, versions before this, uh, you were limited to just three layers. Now, with the addition of multi-layer spaces, you can increase these layers by adding spaces. So if I open a, layer, uh, a space clip up now, um, you'll see here, um, you can select a display profile. And that chooses, selects how uh, the layers within this space are uh, presented. So if I select secondary monitor 50%, that means all the layers in this space will display at secondary monitor 50%. Now the display profile on the layer the space is um, playing on has no effect uh, to how the space clip appears. It's all set with this uh, display profile within the space clip. In this space clip we've got three clips and I set um, them up to display on different layers. I'm just going to clear that now and um, show you how to select a clip to play on a particular layer. So I want this song to appear on layer 1. So I choose layer 1, double click and it will play. I can also use this new button to stop and start it. And on layer 2 I need to, I want to play this clip and on layer 3 I want to play this clip. And you can also clear the layers um, by playing, pressing um, that button and that will clear the active layer. So if we play this back um, you'll see that um, it's playing back with the display profile we set. If I change the display profile and stop and start it you'll see it changes position. Um, I can also um, play different clips on this layer I can play the clips on the other layers. Sorry, if I select layer two, I can play and so on. So why is this important? Well, um, one of the great things we can do is easily link a multitude of clips on different layers using the space clip. So I can go link at end to um, say my text and now I'll play this it'll run the video intro it's just and then all the clips link to my text it's a very powerful way of building up um, layers and complicated text, video and image combinations. It'll probably take you a while to get used to how this works, so uh, I'd uh, recommend you experiment and try different things out. But the capability and power offered by multi-layered spaces is quite considerable. Mm -hmm.